today we're going to transform this lovely coat closet into a very functional space. And I actually was not planning on filming this, but I was on Pinterest and trying to get some inspo on how to transform a coat closet into a functional space. And I felt there was a lack of help there. A lot of people were just like, oh, put in some shelves and make it a linen closet kind of a thing. And while that would be super easy, make it functional with some shelves, I don't really want to drill and build shelves right now. And so I want something that's functional that doesn't require me to do something permanent, if that makes sense. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna film this video because you guys probably have a, a space in your home that's not super functional and you don't wanna do something permanent to it, but you want to help the space just get utilized more. So here we are, we're in the closet. This is our downstairs coat closet and it's very important for me to have this be a functional closet because it's our only closet that is downstairs. And so we have a lot of very important things in this closet that I use a lot. So we have my cleaning supplies in here. We have some extra blankets that don't fit in the living room. And I wanna put like our pool towels in here. We have lots of other stuff, but like those are the things that I use the most also have like mops and stuff in here. As you can see, there's just a lot of blank, blank space. So it's really hard to get to things and so I need it to be functional. I need it to be easy to get into. And so I actually am gonna be going to Target today and seeing what I can find. In my head, I kind of have an idea of what I want it to look like. When I get there, I'll have to like, you know, see the measurements of everything and see if that's possible. But right now, I just made a list of everything that goes in this closet. And so I can, like while I'm there, I can visually think of what goes where and how many, like if I need cubbies, how many cubbies I need. And then I also did a horrible sketch of the closet. So I know the dimensions before I go. And I will show you guys right now what the closet is looking like currently. Right now we have, this isn't even supposed to be here. This is actually supposed to have the mop on it. I'm actually getting a new mop in the mail soon, so we'll probably put another one up. But this is a box of random stuff that's Willows that doesn't have a home right now. And then I also have candles in there, um, still from our move. We have this box full of like massage stuff and then some extra paper towels, some cleaning supplies. And then up here we have some <laughs> blankets that don't fit in the basket in the living room. And then this basket right here has all of our sunscreen, bug spray, aloe vera, that kind of stuff. I think this is empty, yeah. And then all of our board games and puzzles and everything. So this is what it's looking like right now. There's just tons of wasted space right here. It's not functional. Like it's so hard to get those blankets down. Even the games are hard to reach. So I'm gonna go to Target and see what we can find to remake this space. Okay, so I just got home from Target and Nolan's currently using my camera setup, so I'm just filming on my phone. But I ended up getting this right here. It is a nine cube organizer. And so I was looking for the cubes that go inside of it at Target and they had a lot of different varieties. I just didn't like any of the colors. So I ordered some off Amazon and they will be here tomorrow. So when those come, I'll definitely show you guys those and what it looks like with the new cubes in. But for now, I'm going to assemble this. It shouldn't be too hard. I got the shelf all built and it looks very nice. And so now I need to clean out the hall closet and kind of like vacuum it up, take everything out, and then we'll put the shelf in and organize all that kind of stuff. So next step, cleaning. The 
day has come and the boxes are here. So that's very exciting because now we get to put all the stuff from these cubbies away in a nice organized fashion. So I thought I would open them and show you guys what they look like before I put them up. I got them off Amazon and like I was saying, the ones from Target were $10 a piece for a 13 by 13 square. And I was like, oh, you know, that's super expensive. There's obviously nine squares here, $90 plus tax and everything. And they didn't have any that I absolutely loved, um, like color wise. They had like patterns and stuff. And I just wanted something very like clean, simple and neutral. I got a pack for four for $28. And I will link them. I will link everything that I got for this closet below. That's a much better deal. $10 less for four of them. That's a much better deal than the Target ones. And they are the color I want. Some Targets probably have this color. Mine was pretty picked over, so perfect. Very nice. I am now going to go through everything and put them in these bins and organize it. Let's get organizing. As you can see, I finished the closet and I'm so happy with how it turned out. Obviously, I've gone a couple days without these cubes, but already I could tell such a big difference in how functional this space was. Because like you saw before, everything was either up here or down here. And down here was a little bit easier to get to, but anything up here was just a, such a hassle to get to. And there was a ton of wasted space. And so now it's from head to toe much more full and functional. It's so easy to access where we usually are. We're down here and so it's easy to go over to this closet and get whatever you need. There's definitely still space in this to grow into. And a lot of my bins are like very half full if that. So let me go through and kind of give you a quick overview of what I put where. In this far toe over here, I have our light bulbs. Then in here, I have plastic bags that you would get from a grocery store. I keep them all there. I'm really, really good about using my reusable bags because in LA, you had to pay anytime you used a plastic bag. So I've just gotten in the habit of using those. But since we've moved here, we've had a lot of visitors. They'd go to the store and bring back plastic bags and they've come in handy a lot of times. And I've just been, you know, reusing them. So I have all those in here. And then in here, I have all my like arts and crafts supplies, I guess you could say. And then this one to the far right is actually empty right now. And then obviously I have all of our big blankets right here and our pool towels here. And we have a couple more that are outside. We have like little hanging things so we keep them there when they're drying. But yeah, so we have a good spot for that. And then far over here is my new mop. I'm very excited about it. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of the brand Norwex, but they have awesome like rags and everything. And I don't know like what else they sell, but they also have this mop. My mom had it and I was like, oh, I need this mop. She's like, it's not even that expensive. You should get it. So I just got it in the mail and oh, I love it. It's really cute too. I didn't even know it was going to be so cute. It's like gold and pink, um, but you just use like spray, spray it and then, you know, wet this and mop it up. So I have that and I have it hanging by a command hook. I got the command hook from Costco and I would highly recommend these for like a closet like this because it's so handy not to have them all on the ground, have them hanging up. And then on this far side, I have my old mop that I wouldn't recommend getting, honestly. Um, it was just something cheap and easy when we were living in our apartments. Okay, so moving down here in these totes, I like I said, got eight of them. And that was because they came in packs of four. And so if I wanted one more box, I would have three extra ones. 
and I was like, eh, it's not worth the extra $30 just to get the one tote. So I just kept our big board games in here and our puzzle, which actually worked out great because these wouldn't have fit any bin anyways. These two are like just too long. And then over here in this top corner, I have all of our sunscreen, bug spray, aloe vera, things that you would use outside. And then in this middle one, I have all my cleaning supplies and front and center so that it's the easiest to get to. And then in this toe, I have all our cleaning rags as well as the refill mop pads for my old mop and some magic erasers. If you don't have magic erasers, you really have to have them because they really work for everything. And then in this toe, I have my coloring book, coloring pencils, and our puzzles. And then this one has the rest of our games, cards, all that kind of stuff. And then in this middle one, I have all my massage stuff and that sounds so bizarre to say, but I have a horrible, horrible back. And so I have like several massage guns and the accessories that go with that. Heating pad and if you have never used one of these, go buy one instantly because they're literally heaven little head scratcher and then over here i have the overflow of willow's items i have a whole cabinet for her in our kitchen of the stuff that's like i need to get to on a regular basis but the rest is in here then right here i have a very sad sad drawer that's not very full of candles but has a couple candles in it maybe i'll do some refills soon and then that takes us full circle all throughout the closet. So like I said in the beginning of this video, I really was needing some inspiration for this closet because I knew I didn't want to hang shelves and do a whole like construction thing to this closet right now. And I just wanted something simple, not too expensive, but that was gonna be really functional. And I feel like I really did achieve that for such a minimal, easy thing to do. So I'd highly recommend doing something like this with a space that's small, that you need to be super functional. Just adding your own kind of shelving unit inside the closet just makes a world of the difference. All the different bins helps just keep things contained. It also helps like the very top shelves. It's easy to get things down because it's coming in one tote and then you can take things out and put it back up instead of having to like rifle through things. So I'll show you guys a before and after of what the closet looked like and versus how it ended up. And this is the grand total of how much this entire little renovation transformation cost. And it really did just make life much easier to have everything so easily accessible. So I hope you guys got some ideas from this video and it helped you out on your closet organization adventure. <laughs> and if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and tick the bell so you get notified every single time I post. So I will see you guys in my next video.